Disability History, Panel 18, 1979 through 1987. We are people first. Thousands of self-advocates across the world speak for themselves and fight for social change. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Eleanor Roosevelt Let us fail so we can learn from our mistakes. We're only human. Everyone makes mistakes. James Meadors Social Viewpoint Individual and group leadership is being developed as self-advocates speak up, make their own choices, and work together for social change. Social Viewpoint Like other civil rights movements, the self-advocacy movement, through many independent groups, has identified issues and developed strategies for creating change. Social Viewpoint All people have the right to be valued as equals in their community. We must not be discriminated against because of our disability. Other people must learn that we are people and treat us in the same way as everyone else. Social Viewpoint Self-advocates have shown us that an education, an opportunity for real employment, and privacy in our home are rights, not privileges. They do not come from the kindness of strangers during telethons, but from the fact that we are human beings. Social Viewpoint Irving Martin, the godfather of self-advocacy in Minnesota, pushed parents, professionals, and other self-advocates to take responsibility for increasing the quality of life for all people with disabilities. Life is a 50-50 thing. People need to be out there in the community to the best of their abilities. Social Viewpoint On June 22, 1999, the Supreme Court ruled in Olmstead v. L.C. that under the Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA, unjustifiable institutionalization of a person with a disability who, with proper support, can live in the community, is discrimination. The case was brought by two Georgia women whose disabilities included mental retardation and mental illness. At the time the suit was filed, both plaintiffs lived in state-run institutions. The court stated directly that unjustified isolation is properly regarded as discrimination based on disability. Social Viewpoint Who is in charge of your life? Roland Johnson raised this issue of self-determination by focusing on control and decision-making. Social Viewpoint Self-advocates have been in the vanguard in the fight to close institutions and move people with disabilities into the community. Self-advocates becoming empowered. SABE, a national self-advocacy organization, has launched a Close the Doors campaign fighting for the release of our brothers and sisters from institutions throughout the U.S.